Okay, I've been working like three jobs. Probably why I never see y'all. Probably why I never have time for the fake friends. I won't be y'all. Oh God, I've been running now. Up early when the sun is out. Not setting out my own soul, but those real ones, they coming now. Hey, what's going on, man? This is KB Wilson, man. Winston Salem Car Club, Country Boys. Uh, we here supporting the youth, man. We giving back uh, as always. And uh, we're going to continue to give back as the EMNs go farther in the league. Right now, at, uh, this group of kids, at the age of 13, you know, these kids right here, they, they know whether they want to play football or not, you know. So we're fortunate enough to have kids that, you know, is not first-year players and coming out to learn the game. The youth today need something, an outlet. It starts from home, number one. And in, in that um, football field, practice, man, it's important. What we do out here on this field, man, we grown man business on our team. When y'all hear us say, grown man business, that's what we're talking about. We walk on that field, when we on that field, we ain't 13 no more, we grown ups, we grown men. Hey, 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 what time is it? Game time. What time is it? Hey, look here. I say, put our pants on everybody all day long. We won't let nobody walk past us. We won't let nobody go past us. And I don't put a pad on. You understand me? Like me. We hit, 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 win, 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 win. Samaj Turner, and I go by Esther on the field. I'm in the eighth grade. I go to Middle Lark Middle School, and I play middle linebacker, DN, fullback, tight end. Mr. RJ with this. Could you tell me what the RJ stands for, sir? I'm a junior, and I switched it around. JR to RJ. School right now. I know college is somewhere in the distance right now. But are you looking forward to playing college football, or are you saying you know you're gonna just take this and and go to school just to have a career, or what are your plans? Yes, sir, I'm looking forward to playing college football. I want to be in the NFL. I want to be top five pick. I want to play with the Dallas Cowboys. What do you want for the future for yourself? I honestly want to make it to the NFL and I want to go to college and get a scholarship to Clemson University. But even if I can't get a scholarship to Clemson or in sports, I want to just make it somewhere in life.
coming, but I go by JJ on the field. I play offense in line and defense in line. I've been with the team for three years now. Clear, who goes by the name of Mr. Quickfeet. I'm 13. Uh, my name is Jason Cowan. Uh, I started playing football since I was six. Uh, I love my team. We're going to go out here and eat like we do every day. Crack heads. We lost last week, so we're trying to bounce back. I reckon I'm looking too good right now, but that's why we're going to come out here and work hard, work harder than them, go 10 times better, and yeah, play harder than we did last year. I'm just so blessed to play this game and be with a group of brothers and sisters. We're gonna go out there, do what we do. We're gonna go 100%. Don't get beat on any play. No man can beat us one on one. With this team, I've won multiple championships, and I felt like this team specifically, we can do more things than average teams you see. So would you say that Coach Brown and Coach DT were very integral to your life, to where you are right now in your life? Yes, sir. Hey, we know what we're supposed to do. We could have played a whole lot better. We could have had less turnovers. We could have we could have executed our plays better. But we did. We came off on top though, that was the main thing. A win is a win, whether the score was 7 to 6, 14 to 6, 2 to 0. It don't matter, a win is a win, guys. All right? Yes, but we know that we can play ourselves better. All right? Yes, sir. The only reason why the score was like that today was because of you guys. Execution. What are some of the things that they instilled in you along with playing football? It taught me how to be a better man, it taught me ways to get around the defense and run the ball more. They taught me how to blitz. They taught me how to just do everything about football. They taught me.
Run a route. Let's go. Get up on that center. Get out the way. You're going to do this a hundred times. Hey. All right, coach. Two yards slant. Hey. See, that, I don't know what's going on, but we got to correct it. Either your hand's too low or your something ain't right right here. Get up out of there. Let, let me tell you something. When you go to high school, I know everybody preached this, but everybody telling you y'all going to be in the shotgun, that's not necessarily so. Okay? So y'all got to get out of there. You and double A got to get out of there. Y'all going to have to come up from, from up under the center sometime. You know what I mean? Just like when we were on the three yard line. We don't need to be in a shotgun. You all, then that puts you eight yards back instead of three. You see what I'm saying? So if we three yards, you get up on the center, it's a touchdown. All right, come on. Uh, I'm Coach Jansen for the Winston of Indians 13U. I've been coaching for 18 years now with the same organization. And uh, this is my job. I, I love coaching these kids. My name is Zion Summers. I'm 13 years old. What grade are you in? Uh, I'm at 13. It's gonna be these players. Yeah, hey, yeah, we're gonna put that in there so you can laugh about it. Hey, that's a good moment. 13 bird. You're 13 bird. Alright. Okay, so how old are you, Mr. Zion? I'm 13 years old. Okay, and, and your grade? I'm in eighth grade. Eighth grade. Okay, so what position do you play? Um, I play quarterback and safety. Hey, yes, yeah, the quick oh, yeah. says this tight ass jersey got on slowed him down. <laughs> that number, right. that number right. lamb. Okay, you can cut it. Well, what you mean you can fit that? I can. <laughs> well, if it's not on quick, it's gonna be tight on you. Uh, I can fit it. I know these what pads. Loose. He's old pads. What's up, Coach? What up? Yeah, I'm out, man. I got to go to work tonight, but look. I'm going to go Y'all represent, man. The rest of the ah. Texas, all right? Y'all work hard and change to work hard. Continue to work hard, all right? We got a big game this week, all right? Hey, look. This is our week right here. Hmm? Oh, my God. I want to play that game. We start from the line. Need some more in there? Yep. Throw it, big man. Ty. Need some more. E, we start from the line this week. All right? <coughs> Words line, this line with this one, this line with this one. First whistle, you're backpedaling. Next whistle, you open it up to your right, 100%. I'm one hundred and I'm getting it. Come along, my luxury. I'm when I drop in this. When I turn up, you know I'm on my, on my. I'm on my, I'm on my, on my Yes, I'm on my, I am so, I'm so Yes, I am so, I'm on my, I'm on my, I'm on my, I'm on my, I'm on my My job is to protect my people that's your job. Front line, and you gonna win it or you gonna lose it right here. This is when you get tough in the trenches. This is where we gonna win it. We gonna beat them down in the trenches. Both sides of the ball. Both sides of the ball. So when you start getting, when we start telling you to come out, and they start switching you in and out. Don't have a, a problem with it. Come on out because you're tired. You're not gonna be out there, and you're tired. We need a fresh body in there. I don't care who it is. We need a fresh body. At least you try to beat somebody down. Today is your day.
You gotta make up for what you did a few weeks ago. Who got my back? I got your back. Who got my back? I got your back. Who got my back? I got your back. That's what it is all day long, man. All day. You make a great hit, do whatever you want to celebrate. I don't care. Everybody. Everybody. If one person is going all, if one person get interception, I'll get it. You understand what I'm saying? If one person make a tackle, I'll make a tackle. Everybody, go to the ball. Don't be scared. If he's standing up, he's still turning up. Go get it. He's still standing up. Strip that ball. Go, go get it. Get that ball. Knock him out. But like I told y'all, like I told mine in the car, today is the day that you think about your brother that was laying out there. That same breath that he got back when he was out there is that same breath that, that y'all need to use to knock them on the floor today. Y'all understand that? Yes, sir. It's personal today. It's personal today. This just ain't football today. Great thing about this team is that they truly are brothers. There's no airs, there's no attitudes. Everyone on this team is humble and they're willing to do their part to make the entire team better. Being a coach of 12 and 13 year olds? Well, I've been coaching for a minute. Coaching 12 and 13 year olds, it's, it's all right, I ain't gonna lie. You know, it's kind of hard because they're a little older, so, you know, some of them get set in their old ways.
a four man front. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Right. Take hold. You pull out. Listen, listen, oh, wow. listen. Hold on, baby. Listen, I know. Go to a four man front. Okay. Go to a four man front. Okay. You got your two safeties back there. Send, a, send a Houdini go to the linebacker. Everybody else shipped out. Y'all got it? So, so got we got six in the back. Okay, let's go. Mr. Houdini, could you give us a little bit about yourself? Well, my name, my original name is Icobi Morrison, but short name is Kobe. Houdini pretty much, okay, so, and I'm from Lenore, North Carolina, and so a small town, so people really don't know me, so I just, when I play football, I just represent my town. Year, my first year playing spring football and they said I was good I can make it somewhere and I was like yeah okay okay and then my dad he's my coach so you know he put up a name for it. he kept all my teammates names and my name came up Hobie Dunini because you know I made something out of nothing they can't stop me I'm a running back. I play for the Winston Salem Indians. Today we have one of the team mothers, Miss Geneva. Uh, Geneva is the team mother of the Winston Salem Indians 13U organization. It's very important for me to be out here. I, I wouldn't see it any other way. Uh, I really take to these kids. Anything they was or needed, I would be there for them. Not only on the field, but off the field. Let's go. It's coming to you. with the team what kind of camaraderie do you guys have when you're on this field and when you're off the field well I really on the field we all dogs simple as that 
we like we go out there we do our best and off the field we family pretty much that's pretty much that's it A little bit of something about the team that you like, the camaraderie and all that kind of stuff. You know, give me a little bit about that. I like the brotherhood and the sisterhood of the team because, like, I feel like together we are like all a family and we all have each other's backs. God told them boys to stay back. I'm trying to I'm trying to thrash this team by 50. I'm trying to go 100% every play. Yeah, we need to go 100%. Who ran the place of football? Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Wait. Right. Okay, now. From the beginning. Yeah, deal. Yeah, deal. Hit it, boy. Of the football field oh yeah it definitely extends outside the football field because first of all school comes first we do school right first then this football will come in later uh, football is just a secondary thing for us to 
have a tool to get in these young men's head because as you know today, we need to take care of these young men and teach them the right way how to become young men. What you doing, man? Suck it up, one play. I need a sack. Nah, don't let him. Take the man to two out. Let's go. Let's go, y'all. Let's go. Right there, right there. Right there, right there. Kind of practice for one day. That's what happens to you. They hurt us bad. No practice. We practice how we play. We practice with 16. We played with 11. That was the outcome. Y'all quit. First touchdown. We wasn't even down. Nothing. Still in the game. Let them get a dang on 90 yard punt return. Ridiculous. Come to halftime, talk about it. We can't even get a simple formation. We can't even lie, I can't call a play. I'm talking about our bread and butter play. I call a bread and butter play, and now everybody like, what, 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 what we doing? Makes the coaches look bad, like we don't know what we're doing over there. You want to come on game day, look pretty and all that stuff. Oh, who are, I'm an Indian. Like, ain't nobody scared of y'all no more. Ain't nobody scared of this no more. Those days over. So you better get ready for next week, man, to play the Broncos, because they're going to be just like them. They're not, they're hungry, they want you. It's whether y'all going to be hungry. If you ain't going to be hungry, dog, right, look, pack it up, let's go. We're going to do bowl games. I'm sorry. I'm done. Just like Coach said, just because Fred, Yanshin and Fred said the same thing. You won't come to practice Come on, Don't call me. Text me, Coach, when we got practice. You know we got practice on the same days. It ain't gonna change. Three practices, you can't come to no practice. Not even none, no practices. Then you expect to come out here and, and do something. You ain't had no training, no condition, no nothing. Now look, them boys ain't no different than y'all. No different. That's all I got to say, Coach. This is sickening, guys. This is sick. Them punks over there. And I'm going to tell you, you better be glad I ain't out here coaching with you. I'm telling you, because I will have you crying in practice. Why? You don't show no heart. You don't just put on a uniform with a name and walk out on the field and you win a game. 
Not wrong with losing, but you beat me my first time. You talk smack to me, and then you gonna come back today and let them beat you again. Not only that, the part that got me hot, they sit up here and ran the score up on me. What they do? They ran the score up on me. The coaches didn't call his dog, so he say eat him. Eat him up. And y'all sit there and you lay down. I can understand. If I'm one of them 10 coaches, then I've been there them three days. I might be a little tired. You know why? I've been there three days. I got five more, ain't been there none. One day. So I ain't got no choice but to be winning. But what you don't understand, you're letting your buttons down, guys. This game is all about y'all. Win as a team, or you lose as a team. Guys, y'all got to show hard, and coaches wanting it ain't worth nothing if you don't want it. The playoff get ready to come, you can turn your whole season around. Right here, do what you gotta do, sir. See that same. That man touched on an important part of life. Piss on football. If you ain't got no heart in life, bro, you ain't gonna get no win, you ain't gonna get no first down. Now, I'm gonna tell you, this is why I'm stern like I'm stern, man. But I don't like this side of, uh, uh, of losing. I don't. And I'm gonna just shoot it to you straight. You get mad at me, mama's daddy, I was raised by my daddy, yes. He was not a militant man, he was just a man of God. And he told me, when you wake up, wake up in the morning, I don't give a damn if you're gonna be a drunk. Don't lose. Be the best drunk. He said, if you're gonna decide to be the janitor, be the best, be the best damn janitor. And I don't care how it sounds coming out of my mouth. I guarantee you'll never forget this conversation. Not because the volume of my voice, it comes from my heart. I woke up as a man today. I needed a first down. I needed a first down. And what no other team gonna take it from me. And I went and got my first down for me and my family. What I'm teaching y'all is manhood. The hell with football. Only 3% get a scholarship. And I'm not down to nobody. It's a reality. Only 3% of high school players get football scholarships. L little number, right? So guess what? I'm bending you towards just being a man. That's the best thing you can do. And this game called football teaches you that. I'm sorry, I hate the fact they kicked me when I was down. And that's what they did. They said, them boys down, kick them. Where I'm from, bro, you don't never do that. I had a lot to say before the game. Notice I ain't say it, because I could feel it over there. And everybody get mad at me. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't lie. I don't lie. I know when you get ready to lose. I know when you get ready to lose. Like that man say, if you can ride home with your mama, daddy, grandma, auntie, and dad, say, hey, I did a good job. Live with that lie. I love you. game. We got to be stronger, faster, and more disciplined. Do you hear me? Yes, sir. Do you hear me? Yes, sir. And after that, everything else will be history. You understand? Yes, sir. Look, man, I'm not finna end my season. You hear me? Yes, sir. I promise you that. You understand that? Yes, sir. So you look around right now, these people beside you, and these guys out here, the ones that ain't here, the ones that coming from practice already, and on middle school practice, they on the way. But the ones that's here, y'all look around, man, and people face it, man. Cause these ones gonna help you fight and gonna fight with you. You understand? Yes, sir. If we stay together, man, and fight together, man, hey man, it ain't nothing but victory. Do you understand? Yes, sir. I believe in you, man, but you gotta believe in yourself. Do you hear me? Yes, sir. You got to believe in yourself. And that's this all it is, man. You hear me? Yes, sir. I got one question. And the only reason I'm gonna ask this question is because since Summer Shine Coach, since yes, I've been here, yeah. there's been one thing that kills y'all. Where your heart at? Everybody get cut, you're gonna bleed, right? Yes, 
Yes, sir. So that means your heart's beating, right? Yes, sir. Well, I needed to beat on the field all the time, 100%. Because we get scored on y'all like y'all paws gone. Oh, it's a wrap. I need momentum. I need vibe. I bring music. You got to get right because that's what y'all young generation like. Y'all catch y'all mood. Ain't that what it is? Let me get in my mood. Let me catch my vibe. Let me ride this wave. I need y'all to stay on top of the wave. Tsunami if you got to. Y'all understand? Yes, sir. Be the sharks. Because some games, y'all sharks. Y'all predators. Y'all eat everything alive. And in some games, you turn into shrimp. Yep. And it ain't nothing personal. I call it how I see it. You see your homeboys down, don't want, can't, can't get right. Hey, bro, you need help? Holler at me. I got you, bro. I got you. You got to communicate on the field, man. Y'all, all y'all got. It. And I'm going to say this again. Middle school's over. They don't get to do what y'all do. They don't get to go all the way to Florida and fight for a championship, none of that. So be grateful. You understand? Yes, sir. Matter of fact, be proud. Have passion. Every second on the field. Because there's somebody, I, I just did a play yesterday with somebody who wants to play football so bad. Has cerebral palsy, but he can't. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. God's blessed y'all. So all you can do is say thank you, Lord. Hit that field running. Y'all got it. Yes, sir. All right. Check it out, guys. Listen, man. I want to have a flawless game. Like we always, man, when you play a flawless game, it ain't nothing but victory. You understand? Yes, sir. Okay. Hey, man. Hey. This is what we do, man. Big games when we come to play and we shine. You understand me? Yes, sir. Y'all know what I'm finna say. The city wanna see a show? Let's give them a show. The city wanna see a show, let's give them a show. You hear me? Yes, yes sir. They wanna see a Division I playoff game. Let's go ahead and give them a Division I playoff game. You hear me? Yes, sir. One side. Straight domination. You hear me? Yes, sir. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. It ain't hard. It ain't hard. You hear me? Yes, sir. It ain't hard. You hear me? Yes, sir. Ah! 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 Get work! Tashawn Holland. I'm in eighth grade and I go to Southeast Middle School. Uh, I play right guard on offense and D-tackle on defense. I go to QEA Middle School. I love football. I love my teammates, and that's about it. Put a helmet on somebody. Hey, 
If you on the left side, stay on the left side. No breaks! Let's go! Okay! Double A, could you tell the viewers what Double A stands for? Uh, first off, my name is Aaron Covington. I'm in the eighth grade, I'm 13. I go to Fernandez Middle School, and I start quarterback for the 13 Indians. All right, come up with a bit. Number two, can you give me your name? I'm Zion Fent. I like to play basketball. I'm a good student athlete and I'm an all-around player. So what position do you play, Mr. Holler? Uh, I play right guard on offense and deep tackle on defense. Okay. So what are some of the things you like doing? Well, I like blocking people. Blocking people. Me personally, I like blocking people. Get them out of my way so the running back can have a hole or the quarterback can throw the ball. Get in tight real quick, coaches Bro, too. Hard. How many days this week y'all practice? Four. Four days, right? Yes, so y'all ready? Hard by Preparation. Repeat after me. Preparation, Preparation. is done. It's done. I am good. I am good. But today, today. I, will be great. I 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 will be great. God gave you the best thing he could give you. A bunch of coaches that love you. Their only job is to prepare you because they can't go play for you. So go out there and do everything down. you dream. Who dreamed last night about being great today? Hands high. You keep your composure. You can achieve and obtain things that you want to. And I know this. I can see right now. They don't beat y'all twice. Hey, y'all know these guys. Y'all know who gonna run the ball. You know who he like to throw to. Who his favorite receiver? 
See what I'm saying? Hey, everybody got to stay engaged. Y'all on the sideline, stay engaged. Make a play, get a first down. Everybody, you make one good play, make another good play. Make another one after that. Be consistent at being successful. All right? And most of all, don't you ever, ever, ever give up. No, 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 we got to wait till like, 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 Stay tight. No matter what goes on this field today, have your brother back. Have your brother back all day long. We've been preaching this all year for this game. We've been waiting for this championship game. We're here now, y'all. We're here. Let's make sure we lead with that championship belt. All right? Let's play hard all day, baby. We got 50 minutes. Remember, I said we got, we're playing five quarters, not four. We got 50 minutes of football to play. All right? Sir. Let's play it. All right? Yes, sir. Have your brother back. I ain't got too much more to say to you. I, I'm just ready for some play calls. On back kid. Ducks recovery. Shotgun rotation. We take the snap quarterback. Get him. Wrap his ass up. Get him. Picks up the first down. Jack that guy out and push him back. Early in the game, defense, you got attack. Y'all set the tempo. Kendra, big as you is, you need to prove yourself today. You grab that, that center, take him in the backfield. Take him in the backfield with everything you got. You can't do that, you ain't got no business. We don't need you. Ain't nothing out here stop you. We don't need you. Nothing to stop you. My name is Michael Westerberg. On the field, I go by Mike or Mikey. I play DL, OL, I can play linebacker, and I can play fullback. Flag on the play. False start on this. Back about five yards. Take the snap. Bumble. Football. Me. I'm born with the best blockers. Want to be the best blockers. Want to be that today. Want to be that. I'm born with the best quarterback. I'm born with the best center. I'm born with the best running back. I'm going with the best blockers. Period. It's when to go home. And I ain't ready to go home. I want to see December in Florida. That's what I want. I want to be in Florida in December. Who want to be in Florida in December? Let's go do what we do today. Let's go do what we do today. All right? Back to pass. Pass in. Last play in the first quarter. You score, try to lead. 
Doug Seven. Indians nothing. If you get hit like that, dog, no, get up, take it off, let's go. Get your hands up. Now I know I got to hit your ass back. I got to get you back. You just got me and every last one of y'all, all the other ten, better be like, I'm going to get him for him. It's going to be big hits. It is what it is. It's a big game. I expect us to do the big hit. Something going wrong, keep your hand in the game. We always got a chance to come back. Right there. Y'all walking around. Really? Let's go, hustle to the line. Go try it. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Good call, right? Hey, 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 turn around.
Hey, who's just out there? Who's just out there? Hey, 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 I want the coaches over here too. We got this. We in this game. Let's go. Listen to me. Everybody, coaches, team, moms, everybody, players, everybody. Man, listen. Calm down. We're going to make mistakes out here. Let it go. Every time something happens, somebody got to say something. It's enough, man. When the man called him to play, let him call it. It is what it is. Whoever running the ball, it is what it is. Let it go. You're going to beat yourself. Because we arguing over here for now. We down south now. We arguing over here. It ain't the damn gonna kids. It's the parents and all us grown folks. Arguing about everything. Let it go right now. These guys playing. Y'all play. Keep playing, doing what you're doing. It's a football game. It is what it is. Now look, we get the ball back, man. We got to punch it. We done been inside the damn team. Well. Two or three times. Do it all. Hey, look, man. What's killed us is penalties, man. We done, we done got down here and we done killed ourselves on penalties, y'all. Let's calm Let's down. Slow, slow down. We, the game is 7 nothing. That's cold, a football man. game. Ball start. On the end of About five yards. Delay of game. We get penalties when we get down here, get ready to score. Inside the 20, twice, and we got penalties that pushed us back. That hurt, y'all. Can't do that. I had one of our coaches tell me. Yesterday, we were sitting there talking. We were talking about the game. We were talking because we, we coached together forever and, and junior men. And we played in a bunch of these games. I'm like, friend, we always was somewhere playing in a big game. And the thing is, you got to take the dog out of them first. That's the number one thing. If you take the dog out of one of them, just like Cat them said, if you take that dog out of one of them, it's over. Don't let them take the dog out of you. All 22 of y'all. You take the dog out of one of them from the jump. He drove, his pass complete. He's still on his feet. Big play. Move those sticks. I thought about this all night, I done thought about it all weekend. Damn ducks that came. I'm tired. I'm like kid. I'm tired of talking about that. They ain't nothing to me no more. Y'all are everything to me. Y'all are the one. You are the one that they put together a team for. That's what everybody did. All out of Charlotte put a good team together for y'all. Y'all gotta show up now. Big Come on, Big Quick, come on, Big Star. Up the middle. Take the ball! Does not get there. The Indian D trying to hold strong. Takes the handoff. Lost a yardage on the play. Brings up a fourth and goal. Pass in the three. Turn over on down. Indians on the move. Indians on the warpath. 
You at home? Yes, sir. One thing you don't do, you don't let a man kick in your front door. And they got plans to kick in your front door. Believe it or not, they don't care that he or not, I swear I'll be a big deal. Make that a long 45, 30 minute drive Maybe. back to Greensboro, Maybe. Fayetteville, wherever they farm these Maybe. people from. I don't think y'all heard Cole say, they put a team to stop an Indian. Our challenge is to actually reverse that mechanism. What you, what you put out to de uh, actually defeat me, it will not defeat me. Back in camp, I told y'all about this. You gotta be a giant killer today. You gotta be a giant killer today, man. Don't play with them at all. Not one single play. Don't take a play off, man. They coming for your head. They coming for your head. They coming for your head. They coming for my head. So who got my back? I got your back. Who got my back? I got your back. Who got my back? I got your back. This is a family. This is a family right here. Your coaches love you. The player next to you love you. I seen Royster crying when we was at the Ducks the last time for his brother. Y'all brothers, man. So don't give up on each other today. Do not give up on each other. And our, our role models as coaches is to do, is to teach them number one, teach them the game. If they can learn the game, they can understand the game, they can play better. So who got my back? I got your back. And I got your back. Let's go out there and win this football game today, guys. One, two, three, call your man. It's for the love of the shit that I do, man. And I'll give my last breath to prove it. See, I'm a vet when it comes to this shit. Love and if this is all I have, then I'm good, bro. Play. 
penalty against the Indians. Look, right there. Y'all got to give him a measurement when I ask for a measurement. First and five for the ball. Takes the snap. Catch it up. He catch it up. The bond that you share with your teammates, what would you, how would you describe that bond? It's a great bond actually because we we known each other for so long and you know, we didn't know each other. We got to know each other. It was great meeting my teammates and from this day forward, they'll, they'll always be my brothers. You know what I'm saying? The coaches that you have, the mothers of the team, and the players are somebody that you would love to keep a continual growing relationship with. Um, yes, sir. We all come together very good, and we carry each other, and we make a great team and a great family. Them my dogs. They they mean a lot to me. I know I can like tell them anything, and they really mean a lot to me. The leadership and the bonds that we have is is something like no other people can have. You'll see them after practice or even before practice often just joking around, talking about their day, what they did on Fortnite, you know, uh, what they did with their mom ministries, what they did in tutoring. So we appreciate that they know that we love them as whole individuals, not just as football players, but we love them as whole individuals and we appreciate their selflessness both on and off of the football field. Always stay positive and listen and be able to take advice and criticism and you learn from that. Don't get down on yourself. Uh, be a leader. By you being a leader as a person, it helps the ones around you. Uh, I, I want them to realize uh, what we do for them. I want them to realize that we are in that corner. We're like fathers towards them. And if they ever need anything, regardless of when they get in the ninth grade, eighth grade, and keep going on and on in high school, we want to be there for them. It's uh, something that we love to do. We want to teach them how the next level of football. What I want y'all to take from this little documentary and uh, this, this game here that we played today, it's just, man, putting in that work, man. It's about the fellowship of the team. These guys have been playing together and since summer shine. We all are brothers, sisters, cousins. You know, this is my family. You know, so, you know, look like with my family, I'm gonna protect my family with any means necessary, you know. Good friend of mine, Odell Beckham, as y'all know. Did me a favor again. Alright? But he did come by way of just, hey, that's my buddy. I actually was with that guy when he broke his ankle, messed up his leg. Uh, but I actually got to see that guy come back from nothing almost. 
Uh, now a great season, somewhat a great season going on. But he chose to bless our team. I called him without hesitation, him and Nike said, hey, let's put this together. And here we go. But let me tell y'all something. Just close your eyes right now. And before you close your eyes, I want you to put something in your head bigger than you. Bigger than you. Your dream, your vision, whatever it might be. I want this night to be a difference maker. Not just a Nike giveaway. Coach did it again. It's not about me. If I don't get something inside of y'all before I leave y'all, I'm fooling myself. So really search right now what you really want to happen in your life. I was listening to uh, Camper Nick on the way over here. He said, man, yeah. He said, if your dream ain't big and sound crazy, it ain't big enough. How many believe that? I never thought I'd be doing this. You understand? I never thought I'd be Nike boxes being dropped off in my, my house. I never thought it would happen this way. So I actually got something on my mind bigger than me. I told y'all about the giant in the camp, being a giant killer. Well, I'm a giant killer. I'm a giant killer. It, it's, it's in me. It's in my DNA. It's in your DNA. All right? I want to thank Odell Beckham for sponsoring us again this year. In the well, Coach Cat, we appreciate you. And we already know what you wanted to do with this. Have our grown man business and take that double. You know what we're going to do? That's right. I want to thank Cat and uh, Odell Beckham, but I want to thank y'all too, man. Because without y'all, we couldn't be doing this right here. So I appreciate our love. Every last one of y'all, I love all the coaches on the team, moms, everybody on this staff. Y'all are my family. You're my boys. You will always be my boys. I don't care where you go, who you play for, what you do. You my boy. All right? I always sure. remember that. I love y'all. I want to thank Coach Cat and, and Odell and fellas. I want to thank y'all too because like, like Coach Hansen said, without y'all, we wouldn't be no us. We do this for y'all. Only for y'all. You know what I'm saying? And another thing, I want to say Odell, hey, I seen y'all run out of plate. <laughs> <laughs> you 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 That's how I play, baby. Appreciate that play. Yes, Appreciate sir. the cleats, man. Yes, Oh, yeah. 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 Oh,